Hey, this is Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, and this is the question. How do I export all of my Gmail account information? Calendar, contacts, email, and drive, so that I can import it into either another Gmail account or a Google Workspace account. And I'm going to show you what you can do in this video, but before I show you, hit that subscribe and notify button because I create these videos specifically for you. So first of all, if you are the super admin of your Google Workspace account, there is a system, a data migration system, that will get all of your email from a Gmail account and from other platforms as well, and it will migrate all of that email over into your Google Workspace domain. But again, you have to be the super admin to execute this. You have to ask the owner of the account uh, permission to be able to access that Google account. But again, this is all about email. This is not about anything other than email. So this is great, but this is not the answer to it all, which is why I'm showing you this other process. So in order to export out your email, your contacts in your Google Drive, as well as your photos and maps and some other things, there's a tool that Google has made called takeout.google.com. So if I go up here and click takeout, at Google. Here it is, Google Takeout. Your account, your data, you can export it anytime you want. So here are the steps. Again, it's takeout.google.com. You could very well get to that from your Google account and just didn't find it there. So you go down here and you select what products out of the 45 different products. What products do you want to take out? Now, I'm going to deselect all because I don't want everything. I don't want Android, arts and culture. I don't, want, I don't have a blogger site, but I do want my calendar. I don't want, maybe I want my history and my uh, bookmarks. Let's get that. Now, this is interesting, classic sites. You could uh, select that and you'll get all of your ver your classic Google sites. Do some research on that so you know what it's all about. Here's my contacts. Crisis user report, data share, I don't use that. Boom, here's Drive. Now, what this is going to do, it's going to export all the documents as DocX, drawings as JPEGs, forms will be zipped so that you can uh, import that, uh, upload that again into another Google Drive space, there's Jamboard, presentations, I call them slides or PPTXs, and spreadsheets or XLSX files. I'm gonna hit okay. I don't use Fit, I don't want my Google account, I'm not sure what that's all, data migration, account activity, I don't need that. My Google My Business profile, that's interesting, maybe that's worth understanding, I don't have one here. Cloud search, commercial, Google Pay, Google Photos, get that. And then I don't use play, 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 shopping, transfer. I don't use any of that. Uh, I, I do have groups, let's get that. I don't use Hangouts, I don't use Keep, but boom, there's mail, get that. And there's Maps. And so you can look through the rest of this and decide what of these 45 different products in Google uh, can you download and you select all the ones you want to download and then you hit next step Next step this is interesting the delivery method send send download link via email Add to drive add to Dropbox add it to somewhere else, which is interesting you could do that If I add it to drive I might add it to this drive as a zip file Then I got the frequency I can export it one time or I can export it every two months for a year. That's interesting. The file types, do I want it to be a zip or a TGZ file? Do I want the zip files to be uh, no more than two gigs or no more than one gig in size? Let's make that you know, uh, one gig. And then all you gotta do at that point, at this point is create the export. export and when you click that, a message is gonna come up. It's gonna say, depending upon the size of your data, this could take a few hours, a few minutes, a few hours, or even, a few days and you just got to be patient because it's going to send you an email 
once the data has been exported and ready for you to download. Now I switched over to the other account where I've already done this. And you, I click on Google Takeout. And then right here says, we finished creating your data. You got a week to get it. It's, it's, uh, in this case, I did, I did calendar, mail, drive, contacts, and maps. I can go to manage the exports. And there it is right there, ready for me to download. All I have to do is hit the download. Hit this, it shows me all that. All I need to do now is, is, is hit the download button and it'll download all of this data. And let me show you what it's gonna look like. It's gonna show up as a takeout dot, well, I don't know, what's the date? Is that a date there? Uh, 2022 0417 and then some numbers. So there's my zip file. If I double click on that, there's my takeout file. And you see there's a calendar, which are two ICS files that I can import into another Google or Gmail, uh, Google Workspace or Gmail calendar. Here's my contacts. All contacts is a v, single VCF file, which again, I can import that all into a Google Workspace or Gmail contacts. Here's my drive. Here's all the files that are exported out. Again, uh, do, documents are D, uh, DOCX, spreadsheets are XLSX. Here they all are here for me to import into another Google Drive. Here's my mail. Here's my inbox, which is uh, inbox.mbox. Here's my sent box, which is sent.mbox. Here's my archived which is an, again, archive.mbox, all there ready for me to import into another Gmail or Google account. And I also got my maps here, which I don't know what a KMZ file is. I'm assuming I can import that as well. So I've got all my data out. It's uh, set up in the right file formats. Now the next step would be to import this into the Google Workspace or Gmail account that you want to import it into, and I'll show you that next. All right, so here's the import process. Unfortunately, you cannot, with a Google Workspace account, this is a Google Workspace account I have, there is no way to import mail directly without the assistance of your super admin. In a Gmail account, I can go over here to see all settings. I can go over here to accounts and import and I can import mail and contacts. Now when I do that, what it's going to want to do is it's going to want to connect to your Gmail account or your Yahoo or your Hotmail or your AOL, but it's going to want to connect to it because it's going to want to go get the mail directly. So you have to follow the prompts, sign into the other account. And when you sign into it, then you will, at that point in the screen, authorize this Gmail account to connect to the other Gmail account and get the email and get the contacts. But again, email transfer is from the Gmail to Gmail, you can do that yourself. But Gmail to Google Workspace, you're going to need the assistance of your super admin because there is no import here. So you have to have the super admin help you connect to that Google account, the Gmail account, and get the uh, get the uh, email that way. Now let's go to the next piece. The next piece is calendar. Now with calendar, because I did export out the calendar, I can go over here to the settings, click on settings. I can go down here to import and I can select the file I want to import and decide which calendar I want to put it in if I had multiple calendars and so that I can get my calendar uh, data directly myself without the help of super admin. By the way, point of interest is I would recommend before you start this process is you create another calendar and you import that other Gmail account calendar information into what's referred to as a secondary or sub calendar of the main account. But that works pretty easy. I've done that numerous times. And there's another YouTube video out there that shows how to do that. Google Contacts. If you're not using the help from the super admin, then you can do import your Google Contacts directly. It's even easier to import Google Contacts even into a Google Workspace account because there it is right there, import. So I can hit import, I can go select a file, I can put them in a label if I want to put them all in a label. So i.e. I may want to label these. It all came from that original account. 
and then select the file and hit import. The last thing to show you is importing your Google Drive from another Gmail account into this Google Workspace account. But before you start the import of this, what I strongly recommend you do is go to settings and you go to uh, click on settings and there's an option in here that says convert uploaded files to Google Docs editor format. I encourage you to in turn that on. Otherwise, it's going to upload the uh, the XLSX files, the DOCX files as native files. So every time you click on them, you're going to have to convert them one at a time. So I recommend that this will take a little longer, but you, you convert them to Google Docs editor format as you are uploading them. So again, you do that through settings. So now I can go to new, I can go to folder upload. I can go, I'm going to get this folder right here, Google Docs stuff, because that's a folder with files, and this is a folder with files. So I want to get this folder right here and upload. It's going to upload 28 files. I'll hit upload. You'll see in the bottom right-hand corner there's 29 files to upload, and it's already started doing it. Right here you can see Google Docs stuff is the folder. It's got five files in it now. So now it's done, if I double click on it, you can see that these are all Google Docs now, and here's that extra uh, folder I have, and these are all Google Sheets. So if I want to, I can take this Google Sheet out and put it over here into my drive by itself, so it's separate from the Google Docs folder. So again, you have the ability to use takeout.google.com and pull all the data you can out of the 45 different products from your Google slash Gmail account, and then, with the help of the super admin, you can import your email. You can import your own calendar, your own contacts, your own Google Drive, and there may be other areas that you can up upload as well, but those are the primary ones that everyone asks about. Hey, I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach. This is a lot of work. Sometimes it's necessary to do, and I hope these ideas I share with you are helpful.